The ants made an ant army? Mom, you gotta keep it down. I'll, I'll fix it in just a minute, cameraman. All that black is right there with the ant army. Oh, man. I mean, I get typing on it. Voila! I think those are the dead ones, guys. Like, no, they died in the frost. They were? Yeah. Let me see. herb beds that got seriously like infested with ants like we couldn't even pick them except for rosemary so I moved them up front here to kind of make a kitchen garden out of that up here is what I, my goal is but I can't do any garden planning in this area until Brandon gets a skid steer and Oh, grades. He's going to grade around the house and um, put up forms for a, like a patio. It's going to walk around concrete, pour it all the way around the house. So that's one of our next steps. So I can't, can't make my kitchen garden until the grading happens because we're also, I know, right? We just built a house, but we're going to add on to it. So right out these double doors, we're going to push out about 10 to 12 feet and go um, <laughs> window to the side of the girls window and just make a little room like a like a mud room is what we're gonna do because we have too many boots and shoes to um, keep in the house like it's just tracking so much mud and gunk in that we need a spot where we could change our shoes anyways hey welcome back <laughs> welcome back this is my third day in a row vlogging and I made a mission I'm not even gonna say it out loud but to just be consistent because I need to create the habit of picking up the camera and vlogging regardless of what it looks like and I came out here to get eggs because we have no eggs our, our hens are getting old and it's winter time and I think we have a couple egg eaters oh there's only two in there I'm gonna have Shiloh grab these actually because I'll let chickens out and I need, I'm trying to train them to stay, to come back to the coop because they've been up in the trees when we let them out, which I do because I like to let the chickens out. Um, they just go up in the trees and we can't catch them. There's like six out right now that we can't catch. So I'm gonna let Shiloh get those eggs. There's two eggs in the coop. You wanna grab them? It is rainy and muddy and yucky today. In the nesting boxes. Oh, maybe there's only one. I thought I saw two. Sneaking. Oh, no, there's two. <laughs> the door open. I know when it rains and mud doesn't let the door open. That's an Abby door. Yep, we gotta pull this over. Give them some fresh. Yep. Okay, grab those eggs, sister. Yep. Hurry, get them. Okay, come on. There might be one down there sitting on one. That's alright. I'll have Shiloh come back. If Bobby knew I was in there, come. We um, talked about this yesterday, but we mowed a little bit. And when Brandon saw it when he got home from work, he said, Man. It just looks so much bigger once it's mowed. And he's gonna try and get the guys to mow the rest of it. Because there is a ton of land out there that the cows could be on. I, mean, I wanna seed it actually for the for good stuff to grow up. Um, I'm gonna go back, but first let's go talk to Shiloh. I forgot to tell you guys. So we had an American guinea hog named Iron Man. And we had a rattlesnake come in to our property and he got hit by the rattlesnake and died. The rattlesnake came up towards the house and the boys got it with a bow and arrow. But, so we lost Iron Man, our American guinea hog, boar. But my friend Abby gave us these two. They were supposed to be two females, but it ends up being one female and one male. So we have two Kuni Kunis 
that are our little garbage disposals. And I'm thinking about moving them onto the garden too. If I can get Brandon to move fence. They just now got used to the fence. They were escaping our little netting. So Brandon had to put two strands of hot wire here to shock them to make them stay in because they kept getting out. And that male that was supposed to be a girl, that male kept getting everywhere, stirring up the cows, bugging the dogs. So they're trained to the fence now, thankfully. Will you pull this water thing away from the fence? Yeah. Be careful. Mom, Thank you, ma'am. This one right And the door is locked. You're doing the water? She did the food? There was a bucket right by the door full of scraps too. Yeah, I'll go grab it. It's the old peanut butter bucket I use for scraps in the kitchen. They're, the ducks follow any bucket. We need to get all this fencing taken down too. We were gonna do that yesterday, but we couldn't find the tin snips or anything to snip the tie wire off the posts. Yesterday, yuck. I forgot my coffee cup in the garden yesterday. I'm gonna bring that back in and make a fresh cup of coffee. Guys, so we're gonna go in the house and come up with some project <laughs> to vlog today. I'm not sure you can hear us in the house and it's kinda dark, but I was gonna try and vlog inside today since it's pouring outside. Um and I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So, I'll just show you what we are gonna have for lunch, which is actually super exciting to me because every time I open up a can of food that I can during summer or during the season, it was growing, Mom, and give it to my kids, one. it just is like a, Mom, a nod, one. like a tip of the hat, like, thank you, Lord, for providing. Mom, and, I'll hold on. And thank you, Lord, for giving me the wisdom to put up what I could and for growing the food in our garden. So today's lunch is a bunch of broth that I had frozen in the freezer. Um, it was like soup, soup base um, that I had frozen in the freezer. We got a bunch of chicken backs from um, the tailors. That's where Evan works during the week. And when they park chicken, they just sent a bunch of the backs to us. So I made a bunch of broth out of a huge bag of chicken backs and I froze it in gallon size Ziplocs um, with some seasonings and stuff. And so I'm throwing two of those Ziploc bags of frozen chicken broth into a pot and then I'm gonna dump in some veggies that I canned over summer. So some corn, some potatoes, some green beans, and we're just gonna break up some noodles in that and just have a party soup for lunch on this rainy day. It only took a minute and we're already flooded and there's lots more rain to come. <laughs> this is why we need some, this is why we need some serious skid steer work. We flood up here pretty quickly. That's exactly why we need to get around the house graded and um, some concrete poured because like we can't get in and out without our boots on and then the, the mud comes in the house with the kids and it's just, it's literally like a moat around our house right now. thing about those green beans is that we picked them kind of late they got kind of big and so having like fresh green beans out of them so making cooking them down into fresh green beans and making a, a pot of fresh green beans out of them like didn't turn out so good the kids were like these are kind of tough and they were stringy and it was just not great but I still canned them because I didn't want to waste them one and two I know the canning process kind of softens them so um they ended up being really great canned green beans, even though they were slightly big. And so we're just turning them into soup now, which is, it's great. I feel like things you, you might think will go to waste in the garden if you let them go, because we don't let a couple things go in our garden. Um, you can 
totally use like tomatoes that aren't super pretty and beautiful you can turn them into sauce things like that I just feel like um, even the ugly stuff makes beautiful food all right guys the soup is done I'll show it to you really quick it's just a simple veggie soup and everything was either grown here or canned here and grown locally so even the carrots and the um, corn I didn't grow but they were locally grown by either the Amish or another farm here and I canned them up so Emma's gonna serve the soup for the kids for lunch and because we're multitaskers here and I take advantage of when Brandon's home to help um, we're also making our batch of soap so it's a half batch this time of just a basic Castile soap um, it's olive oil and coconut simple ingredients and lye but because this is the internet I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that because there's a lot of safety things and I don't want to get I just don't want to open myself up to that <laughs> we do things different because we have to DIY everything so I'll link the recipe to the soap that we are making today it's super simple it's a really good basic soap for everything it's like an all-purpose Castile soap gentle enough for the babies works great for the big guys um, but yeah, that's what we're doing and because my my card space is really limited I'm gonna end the vlog here and just say thanks for hanging out with us today <laughs> I really appreciate you guys showing up every day to watch these silly vlogs that I make um, I will see you on the next one mm -hmm.